This is the bit zero from Carbide 3D for the Shipogo 4. I'm going to do a zeroing on this piece of wood here. What you need to do is to go into jog. Uh, the system asks me if I want to measure the tool before jogging. That's because I have the bit setter also uh, connected. Uh, I've already done this, so I'm going to say no right now. Now, since I'm using the bit setter, I need to uh, zero in on the piece of wood both in the corners and on the z-axis on the top. So I need to do both this one and this one. What I like to do is to bring it with a rapid position into the front. Now to do this, obviously, I need to remove the dust collection so I can access. So I'm jogging the the router in place with my uh, Bluetooth keyboard. You can also do that straight on the carbide motion. Now bring it in kind of in the middle. Now you can see that it's moving a bit too much so I'm going to change the increments to a little smaller. Now here, what I like to do is to be really, really accurate. So what you want to is for your end mill to just go under the rim of this circle here. You can see that I positioned the end mill in the middle and it's just going below the rim here. After you position the end mill in place, don't forget to attach this little magnetic uh, piece to the to the router so you can close the circuit now we are ready to initiate the first probing the first probing we're going to do is the the angles the corners sorry and now that you know that it's connected and it has the wire attached you're ready to begin the probe taps the four edges of the corners and then it goes on top and does the last one. And that's it. The second probe we're going to do is the Z axis. So to do that, just place the bit setter on top of the board jog the router in place now here you don't have to be that accurate i kind of just position it just a little bit above the corner here remember to still have the the magnet attachment to it and now we're going to do the second probe for the z It asks if you're ready, begin probe. And it basically just taps the top of the bits at bit zero. And that's it, we're done zeroing the machine. Now, the reason I did both the corners and the Z is because I'm using, like I said in the beginning, the bit setter. Normally without the bit setter, it would be enough for me to just do the corner. I do believe that I am doing something wrong maybe because it feels like it does do the Z when you do the corners, but for some reason it doesn't register it. So I still need to do the corners and then do another probe where I do the, the Z. I'm now ready to start the cutting. I'm gonna start by clicking under start job, click start. <laughs> 
Now I'm using the bit setter, so the machine is asking me for a tool change. I already have the right tool installed, so I'm just gonna click resume. Now the machine is ready, it asks me to turn it on.